Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you a McFarlane Collector's Edition figure and this is... This is the Alan Scott Green Lantern. Ooh, check him out. So they have a new style box for these. It's a little bit, uh, got a little yeah, bit fancier. taller. Got the yeah. gold, like the, got the silver foil. And yes, the, down the side. It also get, has a stand for the collector card. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is, you said Green Lantern Alan Scott. Yes. And you were saying he's basically like the like original. The, yeah, like the Golden Age Green Lantern, yeah. All right, let's take a look at the side and back of the box. Right, oh, so that's cool. That. That's written on the side. Day of Vengeance. He, got the, um, he is O2. Again. So. Yes. Yeah, I think the Superman that we did previously was O1. Oh, okay. And then there's that's the same as on his card, correct? Right. Okay, awesome. Artwork on the back. Yeah, it looks like it was really cool. It's like um, Alex Ross artwork. So. That's cool. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and get him out of this box and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. All right, so there's... The Green Lantern, Alan Scott. Out of the box. And let's go ahead and take a look. Here's the lantern. <laughs> so it's like translucent, uh, looks like, almost like glow-in-the-dark green. Very, very bright. Yeah. Um, and it's got the little handle. Um, I think the way his hands are, he could actually hold it, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So he does have grippy hands. Um, this part is pretty pliable. So, um, and then this part feels not like hard plastic. I don't know what that feel is. It's not like rubbery, but it kind of feel like it has, kind of feels like it has a rubbery texture on the outside. So, and that look feels like it would suction cup, but it won't. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, it, he does come with the regular stand with the DC, but it's silver on this one and has the peg. He also comes with his very own collector card, like the artwork on the back. Um, and then his... Yeah, I like, the, uh, like all the silver foil embossing on the card, too. Yeah, very cool. So there's his data file. So if you were going to read about him. And... And you can put it right in there, and it has this cool DC stand. Um, so it kind of helps you uh, keep track of your collector cards as well. And makes a very nice display when they're up there yeah. with him on the shelf. All right, now let's take a look. Um, so this is this is my first time really being introduced to this particular um, Green Lantern. There's yeah, he's like I said, he's like the the golden age. So like b back before the Justice League, there was the Justice Society. So it's you know they're kind of like the early versions. So you don't they don't get a whole lot of uh, exposure. Yeah, exposure nowadays. Um, and I just made him drop his anyway. So he's got a purple um, mask on, some blonde hair with some like um, light brown. Um, low lights would you say mm -hmm. um, some texturing in there makes it look really cool so it's not just like a straight up blonde um, he does have the two um, things holding his cape on right here um, his cape is actually kind of molded to him I'm trying to figure out at what point actually maybe not but it is attached by these things which this part is molded to him um, there's the lantern on his chest there's the ring <laughs> And um, he has the red shirt. So he's got a lot of colors going on here. Some gold, some yellow, some green. He's got the red and the gold going on down here. Um, green on the inside of his cape. The cape is very pliable. Um, like a really thick fruit roll up. <laughs> a purple on the back. And you can tell it's got all the, you know, nice little... Um, wrinkles or folds in it to make it look you know so much more real and then the so the collar is very pliable and it's green inside purple on the outside and kind of sticks up um now this piece which i showed you um as i knocked it off goes can go on his hand like that all right there you go did you have it just like that yeah mm -hmm. all right and then so you have that um, but, and you can see, I think I showed off the boots. So he's looking pretty cool. Let's see, anything interesting? No, they're just like regular cape and regular colors on the back. He is a very colorful 
action figure. He is. I will go ahead and let you show off his articulation. All right, so he's going to have articulation at the neck. Uh, so he can look side to side. He can look down uh, and look up. So if you want him flying or, or whatnot, you can pose him that way. He has the double butterfly shoulders. So it will give him increased range of motion in the shoulders. And it will also rotate and extend. He has the bicep swivel. The double elbows. So he can get a great bend at the elbows. And then the dual wrists. So they will rotate and bend. He has two points in the torso. One at the waist. And then one mid-torso. Uh, so he can really get great bends and flying poses and whatnot. He has great uh, articulation at the hips, um, the double knees, and then the, if I can get the cape out of the way, the, um, the ankles will pivot and turn and also roll. It's kind of hard to tell what it's doing there, but... Uh, so it will help him to stay flat-footed when you're posing. And then also the toe articulation. So, very cool. Um, awesome to add the Golden Age Green Lantern to our McFarlane Toys collection. Alright, so there's one last look at... Alan Scott, the Green Lantern. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.